afternoon. I very rarely start my videos in the afternoon, but I had a pretty productive morning. So I actually haven't had a decent morning routine since I got back from Australia and it's coming up on two months. I snooze my alarm 10 times. It's just a really bad morning routine. And last night I was like, that's it, I'm done. I'm going to get up as soon as my alarm goes off and all I have to do is make coffee and sit on the couch. As long as I can make it that far, then we're making progress. And I did that. I mean, I laid in bed for an extra nine minutes, but I didn't fall back asleep. I got up, I made my coffee and I sat in the sun and I feel like I accomplished something. So I've been up since quite early for the first time in months, which is great. And I've just been editing and just had a pretty productive morning. This afternoon, I just want to do some like bits and pieces around the place. I need to clean the kitchen and do some washing and I'm going to repot one of my plants and you know, just more spring refreshy kind of stuff and just, you know, slowly chip away at my to-do lists. Totally got sidetracked. Liz asked me to go to Winners with her for a minute and I did. I also went to the supermarket and I picked up some wine. I also got some salmon and avocado sushi just because I, like I need to eat something. And at Winners I bought one thing which is this little container here. It's got really pretty Australian flowers on it in a very bright and colorful design and it's actually designed in Australia. It's called Lucy King by Bread and Butter. Anyway, I just really liked it. I wanted to uh, add a little pop of color into my kitchen. I don't know which way to have it. Which way? That way. That way. Cute. I just wanted a bit of color in here and I can always do with some more um, storage containers. I could probably put my tea bags in that one instead of keeping them in the box that they come in. So there's that. I also just went downstairs and picked up... Where's my thing? What did I do with the thing? Here it is. No? The label thing. The label thing that I used to do the labels on my packages. But I just went downstairs and picked these up. That one is going to be the base coat for my nails. And then this one is going to be, what is this one gonna be? Leg nail extensions because I, I kind of just want longer nails for a moment. I don't usually like long nails, but I do want them. So I grabbed some extensions so that I could, I could do them. And to be honest, I'm probably gonna do that now. I feel like I'm totally detouring from what it was that I wanted to do today, but I really wanna do my nails. really have to let the ink dry otherwise this happens so I should have opened the box first but this is the base coat that I picked up I wanted to try the gelish one because I've not done it before and then these are the tips and then I bought these really cute little sushi plates from a random home decor store when I was in Montreal and they're just perfect there's a little spot for your soy sauce and then I put my sushi on it it's just perfect so I'm gonna sit in the living room and eat this and then I'm gonna start on my nails today's video is sponsored by Skillshare Skillshare is an online learning community and if you are like me and you love to learn new things or try different things then head to Skillshare as they have thousands of classes in a variety of different topics I am all about the classes that are around art and creative projects, but also home things. One of the things that I'm really interested in at the moment is expanding my plant collection and even looking into having a vegetable garden at home. For that, the class that I am in the middle of is called Indoor Gardening, Grow House Plants, Veggies and Herbs by Ekta Chowdhury. I kind of killed a tomato plant last year and I would like to be able to maintain one. Anyway, there's more about my house plant 
minutes and the things that I would like to do towards the end of this video. The first 1,000 of my viewers to sign up using my code RACHELLIE or my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Good morning, it's Friday and I did my nails yesterday. They're not super long, but I just wanted a little bit of length to them and then I went with like a nice nude color. It's a beautiful day again. I got up and I went for a walk by the lake this morning with a coffee, which was really nice. But now I'm gonna get back into my to-do list and keep ticking things off. First things first, I really need to put on a load of washing. Okay, I have the dishwasher on, I have the washing machine on, it's all happening. I have run out of notebooks, which sounds insane because I usually have a million of them, but I actually don't have a plain notebook just to make notes in. So I found this spare piece of paper. There is an old to-do list. It's actually written in pencil, so I could literally erase it if I wanted to, but yeah, it's an old to-do list from like months ago. So we're gonna use this side of it and I'm gonna start planning out some of the things that I wanna do in the next, I don't know, little bit. There's just a few organizational things. Actually, one of the things that has inspired me to do this uh, is the cupboard that's behind me right here. I organized it, I think before Christmas and it has stayed so organized and it's a storage container, random utensils type cupboard and that stuff usually gets messy pretty quickly. It's kind of hard to maintain, um, but I don't know exactly what it is, but it stayed really, really organized. And then when I was sick, I organized my TV unit and redid all of that. I think there was something else that I organized, but I wanted to make a list of all the areas in my house that I wanted to make really organized and uh, I don't know start working on that before summer I guess I need to organize under the kitchen sink I need to do the bathroom sink I tried to do the bathroom sink a few months ago and it's just not practical it's really easy to just throw things and when you pull stuff out things fall down and it's just it's not good so I need to redo that the really big one is my office my office is basically unusable right now there is clothing rack in there with oh man I have to take that out of there and take the towels off it and put those away to hang out the new clothes. But there's a whole clothing rack in there and it's a whole thing. So, and then on top of that, there's just stuff everywhere. And I think I want to rearrange the office just to, I don't know, give it a new feel. So I'm maybe more motivated to uh, keep it clean and be in there. So got to do the office and then I need to do the front cupboard, the story. What is it? Coat closet? It just needs a little bit of organizing. I don't really think there's too much I need to take down to my storage locker, but there's just like cupboard organization I need to do. And I want to try and organize it so that it stays as neat as this one. I'll show you this in a second. This is like untouched, not even like trying to make it look pretty. This is just how it is. But, uh, it just seems to stay clean. And then of course I have to do my wardrobe switch over. Anyway, this is my cupboard of uh, kitchen utensils and storage containers. I'm just gonna move the chair out of the way. This I did, oh, you know what that is? That is fingerprint marks where I accidentally had some of the confidential ink on my package the other day. It wasn't dry, I put a, I put a fingerprint there. Anyway, so this is my cupboard. It may not look very neat, but to me, it is very organized. I ended up getting these three containers I have uh, lids and storage containers in here. Down the back, I have slightly bigger storage containers that don't fit in there. In this one, I just have measuring spoons and a random heart-shaped plate. And then this one is full of all kinds of random stuff. I have a knife sharpener, travel utensils, cookie cutters, all that kind of thing. And then just on the end, I just have regular utensils. And then down here, I have my air fryer, my ninja thingy. Topping boards always go in here. And then I have some bowls at the back that are usually a little more organized than this, but it's not different difficult to get things out, nothing falls out. It's enough and I, it's been like this for months and I'm just really, really happy with it. I was just about to sit down and do some work, but I remembered I wanted to make a little matcha drink because I, I don't know, I feel like it. And I'm going out this afternoon and I could do with the extra energy to be honest. I accidentally hit the, the button to make it go when I was pulling it out and I splattered it everywhere. I think it went up my arm and not actually on my shirt. Mistakes shall be made. I'm gonna sit down here and do a little bit of work but I just remembered something else that I can add to the list of things I need to organize and that is, what the hell is it? Oh, my pantry. 
it's my pantry. I have two pantry drawers. I did some organization a few months ago, but as I've collected more dry food that, you know, lasts for uh, quite a while, the drawers have gotten really messy and I need to redo them. Something that's been on my to-do list for quite a little while now is to put one part of this plant into this pot over here that I got from Target a few weeks ago. There are three plants in this one pot and they've now gotten far too big so I think I'll take one out and leave two in there and it's just something I really want to tick off the list. I'm done. I'm very happy with it. This one is so much taller than I thought it was. It didn't look as tall in the white pot, but this one has a home. It can go back to the coffee table. It is absolutely thriving here, so I definitely don't want to move it from there. And I like that. As for this one, not sure yet. I really want to put a plant up there, but I think it might be too tall for the shelf. Yeah, it is. So I'm gonna have to find somewhere else for this one. Uh, but I do have one that I might put up there. Most of my plants live up here on the windowsill just because it gets really good light up here. Um, the devil's ivy is doing really well. So is the Chinese money plant. This one, not so much. This one has had some troubles, especially over winter and it's, it's growing really well now, but I would like to cut some pieces off and propagate it and uh, make it, make it a little more full from the top. And then this one that's not even really in a proper pot is my fiddle leaf fig. And I kind of killed it last year, cut it all off and it started regrowing. So I do need to get a proper pot holder for it, but actually this could do with some water. I should put some water in this one. Um, but yeah, so these are where my plants live and they're doing quite well. This one was in my bedroom, but my bedroom doesn't get a lot of light. I think this one actually might do quite well up on the kitchen. if I like it. I feel like this bottom shelf has too much on it. The middle shelf needs to be restyled because that's just uh, a mismatch of stuff. And then the top shelf just also needs to be restyled. Maybe I could put the plant on the top shelf. I can't tell which way I like it more. I need something to go under the devil's ivy and then the black plant thing up there. I just need to put those away into a cupboard and then also something for the bottom right, but it's better. I just, I want more greenery in here and I think I might even pick up some more plants very soon because I just don't feel like I have enough and I miss how much greenery I had in my old house. This is about as far as I got. I just moved to the new canister jar thing up there and then down here I put the the new plant which I really like I do like greenery in my kitchen so I'm feeling much better about this 